Hello and welcome to another Twin Motion 2024 benchmark video. So this isn't really a tutorial, but in this video, we're going to look at the performance of Twin Motion 2024 on a medium sized or low end performing computer. That's the current laptop that I have right now. This is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 um, or 1050. Uh, it has a two gigabytes VRAM. And currently I think was set to ultra resolution. So for this video, I'm going to show you how Twinmotion actually operates. Currently we don't have any model loaded in. So you just see the default Twinmotion scene. And in this scene, you can see here that we don't have complete um, 60 frames per second. I can just turn the statistics here and you can see I'm currently running at 15 frames per second for this particular scene. And this is a scene that doesn't have any elements in it. So the current setting here we have now is, let me just go over to preferences and by quality, you can see this is already set to ultra. Now I would not normally use ultra all the time to run Twin Motion 1024. I normally work in the medium settings, but we're just going to go down for the sake of this video to see how Twin Motion performs. And in case you want to work with Twin Motion, you can go about moving around the settings and help yourself. So in case you didn't also notice it before, this is ultra settings how twin motion actually takes it and then we're going to go down from ultra to high settings you can use the um, default setting here to set everything to high and then click ok so once the setting changes this is high so we're getting about 18 and 17 frames instead of 15 so there's a <laughs> slight boost in the frames but not enough for you to work consistently and like i said this is an empty scene so if you're loading the model it's going to be very different we're also going to load in the model and see how twin motion actually handles that so i'm going to drop it down again to about medium so you can see how it is now this is medium you can see that the depth shadows are actually gone the soft shadows and now we have 18 frames but if i go and move it around as about 22 35 frames it's smoother now but it's still not as smooth as it would be if you had a very very good computer so this is what we're working with and that's the way the medium setting actually looks like on twin motion so let's look at the low settings and see what we have i can just switch the quality again to low click ok so now you can see that every form of shadow and depth is gone it's just this and now we have about 68 frames per second all the way down to 59 which is my default screen setting but we have about 60 68 and because i have v-sync turned on my computer is going to lock this to 60 frames per second because that is my monitor's refresh rate so that's the best setting that we've seen so far it's very smooth now as you can see so this is low quality textures on twin motion so now we're going to load in the model and see how it is and see how Twinmotion actually handles it. And instead of going from high to low, now we're going to go from low to high. So now I've loaded in a scene into Twinmotion now, and this scene has a lot of detail and a lot of textures. So the issue now is we're currently on the low resolution, so I can move the camera around. You see how long it actually takes to pan from one end of the camera to the other and if you look at the stats from below here my laptop is already going red and um, it's about 13 frames but it's, it's using all of my gpu to actually render or um yeah to actually render this scene even though it's on very very low quality and if we start going up to medium and high you're going to see something very different but the good thing with that is you get to see the lighting in the scene i think it's also down to the fact that this scene is very detailed but this is low so let's look at how it looks like in high resolution or in medium texture sorry so over to preferences i'm just going to get to quality and then change the quality from low to medium and then click ok so you can see a lot more depth in the seed now there's lighting coming in there's soft shadows on the edges of the walls and if you want to pan around it's almost impossible to do that smoothly so we have like six frames per second this is not very good if you're trying to work so twin motion might not be for my computer depending on how it is so i'll probably need to get a new computer if i want to run twin motion at very high um, textures or high quality 
So in case you do have a computer in mind, you can recommend one for me because I can't currently use this as it is. That is medium quality. Let's go back to high quality and see what's going to happen. I'm just going to hit preferences, go back to the quality and change the quality from medium to high. Oh God help me. Just go ahead and click OK. So the lighting, the scene now is on high and it's still very similar in frames. Okay, we're now at two frames per second. So if we try to move, it's almost impossible for the scene to move. So there we go. It's about two frames per second, which is terrible, really. But that's the way the NVIDIA GTX 10 0, 1050 or NVIDIA GTX 1050 handles Twin Motion 2024 at high quality so let's look at how it handles it on ultra quality high it's not even moving i wonder how the ultra quality is going to look like i'm just going to hit edit and head over to preferences eventually it gets there so once we're on the quality you can change that from high to ultra and then hit ok So with Ultra now, you can see light dripping into the scene from the windows. You can see a short bright shadow here where there is lighting on this side and there's shadow on this other side. So that's really realistic. But because my computer is so slow right now and we're on Ultra settings, you can't really see it and it's not really usable. And if you look at the settings here and the properties panel under ambience, you can see the render scene. You can turn on the lumen qualities and part tracer. So I'm just going to try to turn on lumen because my computer cannot handle part tracer. So I'm going to just turn on lumen to see how the lighting looks with lumen. So now I have lumen turned on. You can see realistic lighting, very similar to the previous one on standard and that is the way the twin motion scene looks with ultra quality and lumen turned on so this is the complete um, benchmark tutorial for twin motion 2024 on nvidia gtx 1050 so in case you have any ideas do let me know And like I said, you can recommend the PC for me to get to actually run Twin Motion. I think ray tracing, a PC with RTX um, ray tracing features would be very nice because it's going to help with the Patricia and Lumen and all those other features.